the question of gun control to me is a fairly simple issue in my mind it is who has the control of my firearms legally purchased legally used legally owned as well as the ammunition to go with them here are three of my 22's one family heirloom which was my first firearm purchased for me at the age of 12 by my father it is a Stephen Savage 15B single shot and it pains me to, to think that my family history doesn't matter to the president and the vice president and all them others up in uh, Washington DC that this was a gift to me from my father doesn't seem to bother him at all my history with this uh, Glenfield Marlin it's one of my older guns have a lot of history with it love it but who controls this gun do I control the gun or does the government control the gun this model 75 Glenfield Marlin is a relatively new firearm in the 22 range they are sporting hunting rifles uh, this one is a single shot one shot then you have to of course do the bolt then you put your shell in manually close it pull this back and pull the trigger this one is a semi-automatic holds 18 shots in a tubular magazine and I guess the way that I read this bill it could fall into uh, this gun ban thing that they're talking about as far as the magazines unless that is just uh, your box type detachable magazines which is what I thought but anyhow and anyway I have a history with this firearm so does does the government think I'm gonna relinquish control of this or any other firearms for that matter uh, this one is a nine shot a model 75 and it uh, for a 22 is very nice uh, tubular fed rifle itself but this being said my whole premise and reason for showing these is the fact of the history that goes with these now they are inanimate objects and hurt no one I am the human component I'm the one that chooses to pick a weapon up I'm the one that chooses to uh, shoot a target uh, hunt an animal uh, do whatever I want to with it and it is the same with these lunatics that are running around too if they don't want you dead you're not gonna die but if they want you dead you're gonna die John Kennedy said that himself about his assassination he said if someone wanted you dead they would get you dead if they were willing to give their own lives and these people that are gaining access to these weapons if they can't kill you with one like this with 18 shots in it or 30 shots or 100 shots or whatever if they want you dead they'll kill you with this just as easy and if these are controlled by somebody else other than me or destroyed doesn't really matter to them a criminal will always get firearms they will always have firearms there's over 300 plus million firearms in the hands of law-abiding gun owners in this country so how many are rolling around that are undocumented uh, in criminal hands we have no way of knowing that a criminal will always have their firearm the only one a gun ban would affect would be those law-abiding citizens 
who would be willing to forget the history, to forget their good times that they've had with their weapons, and turn them in. I hate to be faced with a choice like that, and I'm sure you do too. Just a thought on the matter. Thank you.